Governor Zindel, I have a, just if I could, I have a stack of emails from our viewers you that I'd like to get from Melissa. This is Melissa Sellers. She's the governor's press secretary. She snatched your emails from my hand so quickly, the camera guy couldn't even keep up. We did catch a shot of your emails a little later, right here, rolled up in a safe little ball. Reporter after reporter tried to ask Jindal if he'd veto the pay raise that'll more than double legislator pay from 16 eight a year to more than $37,000. Governor Jindal made sure to bring his talking points. Three things. Number one, I'll start over. And every time you interrupt me, I'll start over. Number one. One, we oppose the pay raise, and I'll say this many times you want to ask. Do what they're supposed to do. Keep three things. One. What changed with the language from the campaign promise? David, you're asking the same question. I'll, I'll tell you the answer again. Number one. It's okay. <laughs> I'll answer you again. Three things. Number one. Well, that's, that, that's not answering my question. Stephen, you've asked your question. That's not answering the question. Let me answer the question. Number one. Okay, here's the summary. Number one, Jindal is opposed to the raise. Number two, he doesn't think the pay raise should go into effect until after the next election. And number three, if he keeps his campaign promise to forbid the raise, legislators will block all his other plans. Keep sending in your emails, and we'll keep trying to get them to the governor. David Dockan, NBC 33 News. The governor says he hopes legislators will revisit the issue. State representatives and senators can bring up the pay raise bill before Monday. Still, though, no plans for a veto. Well, he's scared of that.